hold coins for a long time, and continue to make profits and sell them. Short-term investors mostly profit. Is this the main reason for the market decline? Cryptocurrencies rise in waves. The future bull market is just around the corner. Don't let FOMO get to your head. Look at what stage of the bull market we are in from 5 big data. El Salvador to issue Bitcoin bonds next year. China plans identity authentication on blockchain. Is this still blockchain? The inscription market is booming and you can make money with just mint. But not all inscriptions have long-term holding value. New York continues to crack down on cryptocurrency exchanges. The most expensive exit price of KuCoin. Changing the world with cryptocurrencies. Get our wealth password. Let's slowly become rich together. Wednesday, December 13th. Where is the coin chain? My name is Michael. Say hello to everyone in Taipei. Let us look at the 24 hour data. There's been a deep correction in Bitcoin recently. Is the callback we have been waiting for begun? Let us focus on two very important indicators. The first one is the solid data of short term holders with a holding period of less than 155 days. When the solid data is above 1, it shows that short term holders are selling at a profit. Less than 1 means they are selling at a loss. You can see the charts for the past week. Started at $44,000 on Bitcoin site on December 4th. The SOPA data for short term holders began to see a sharp pull up and rise. Indicates that a large number of chips began to be sold profitably during this period of time. And after falling back in recent days, it has never fallen below one. It shows that short term holders are very optimistic about the market outlook. They are unwilling to sell at a loss when the price drops. Generally, you have to wait until Bitcoin breaks new highs before a large amount of profit-making selling occurs. Next, let us look at the SOPRA data of long-term holders. Then long-term holders refer to investors who hold your currency for more than 155 days. Usually they are large institutions or users who have faith in Bitcoin. Long-term chips are often larger than short-term chips. Therefore, changes in long-term chip holding data. It will have a greater impact on the market, same as SOPRA data for short-term holders. If above 1 it indicates profit selling, below 1 indicates selling at a loss. Let us take a look at starting from $31,000 on the Bitcoin side. The SOPA data for long-term chips has never fallen below 1. And after standing at $35,000, long-term data began to show a sustained rise. It shows that long-term holders began to sell their chips after $35,000. And within a month, the SOPA data has remained around 1.5. Perhaps the recent market correction and price declines, it has a very close relationship with long-term holders selling at profit. Let's take a look again. Bitcoin's current total market value reaches $806.979 billion. The proportion is 51.89%. Therefore, Bitcoin's market share is an index that distinguishes bulls and bears that large investors are very concerned about. Because crypto's needs are divided into several echelons. Bitcoin Ethereum first echelon. The second echelon of mainstream altcoins, memcoins and Jugo S Fomo coins are the third echelon. Generally, before a bull market comes, Bitcoin will rise first. Then the outcome will make up for the increase, so what matters for Bitcoin S success is its market share. Generally, in the early stages of a bull market, Bitcoin S market share will exceed 50% or even higher. Then wait for other altcoins to make up for their gains to expand their market value. Then Bitcoin S market share will decrease. However, the total market value of the entire Kripakinoshi has increased, and then continue to repeat this wave-like rise, finally formed the final big bull market. Okay, let us talk about supervision again. Although in the mystery world, I think supervision is a false proposition, is a non-existent topic. If you want to go to a centralized world, you need a sovereign, centralized authority to regulate it. But who is that? But we also said in the program, until now, when everyone was still young, we must bow to regulation and not mess with the United States. Everyone saw that after Binance's lessons learned. Tether, the issuer of Asta has always been unregulated. Recently my tone has become looser and I'm starting to get timid. Take the initiative to say that you want to embrace supervision. To put it bluntly, it means embracing American regulation. It declares compliance in the United States and say that it will do whatever the U. As government asks me to do, what a hunched over face. Recently, Teller adopts a new policy to comply with you. As OFAC sanctions, a freeze has been placed on some specific Ethereum wallets. Among these 161 frozen wallets, only 11 addresses hold more than 3.5 million asked. 
and these tokens are mainly held by a single address with up to 3.4 million coins. At the same time, other frozen wallets hold less AST. The balance of one of the wallets is only 1216 M AST. However, in other on chain analytics such as Arbitrum and Optimism, no wallet with AST balance found. Everyone can see that this is the disadvantage of centralization. Carry out this sanction action. I believe it has caused dissatisfaction among the general community and users. Because AST is not stored on many addresses, it is also frozen. The reason is that these addresses have been stored or are suspected of participating in other activities on the chain. So they are all within the scope of sanctions. Everyone has seen that centralized institutions, whether they are governments or enterprises, with just one click, you can sell user information and burn your account. The sexy thing about Wethbury is that it is not regulated by any region, not subject to any centralization restrictions. DAFI is also because it is not subject to any restrictions. Can you conduct financial activities without anyone reviewing it? For practitioners in the Wethbury world, if you want to take back your rights from big institutions and centralized institutions, it's a long and arduous road. South Korea excludes MPS from regulation. BDS is subject to separate regulations. People's ups and downs. A low encrypted advertising. Is this a safe bet on the bull market? Let us take a look at South Korea. South Korea itself is well known for its very strong block hain and Krepikinashi community. Let us take a look at the situation in China. Because of the decentralized nature of Krepikinashi, it can be said that in the eyes of China, it is a thorn in the flesh, although there are documents saying that they are not opposed to the sale of civil liberties. However, no relevant legal protection is provided, and there are various documents that circumstantially define it as illegal finance. But we have to admit that China is not friendly to Krepikinashi. But for blockchain technology, Igekuchkin has a bit of a lid, so the level of advanced technology is far beyond that of other countries, and it has also attracted many talents in the industry. Many projects will be labeled with Chinese characteristics when they arrive in China. Everyone looks at stocks like this and infinite like this. Of course, blockchain in China also has Chinese characteristics. Let's take a look. The cryptocurrency is totally gone in China, okay? Anyone trading cryptocurrency uh, is illegal. And also public chain is also illegal in China because any IT system for people to connect to in China require KYC because we cannot do KYC on public chain, so public chain is also illegal in China. That's right, public blockchains are completely banned in China. But blockchain technology is used in all aspects in China. Blockchain companies recently supported by state power. Blockchain service network partners with Chinese government. Plans to launch a new blockchain platform called RealDid in conjunction with China's Ministry of Public Security. Used to verify citizens' real name identities and perform personal data encryption protection and authentication. Private login corporate identity personal identity proof service and information about personally identifiable information. Real DidApp will allow Chinese citizens to anonymously register and log into online portals using DID addresses. Ensure transactions and data between individuals and businesses remain private. The blockchain system uses decentralization to protect your privacy. Anonymization is implemented. China is a regulatory power. There are cameras everywhere on the street, coupled with the widespread application of AI. To some extent, it will bring convenience to life. But this convenience comes at the expense of privacy. Everyone has seen that before there was no real name system for mobile phone numbers. Scammers only knew your mobile phone number. After the real name system, scammers not only know your mobile phone number, can know all the real information about three generations of your family. So, does the blockchain system with local characteristics protect privacy or is it an infringement in the name of protection? The listing of SATs on Binance will benefit the entire inscription market. Inscription is afraid that it will become the engine of the bull market. After paying a settlement of Arsh Army Yuan million. What should I do if KuCoin withdraws from other states in New York? You really, only the benevolent see benevolence and the YC wisdom. The listing of SATs on Binance will benefit the entire inscription market. Inscription is afraid that it will become the engine of the bull market. After paying a settlement of $22 million. What should I do if KuCoin withdraws from other states in New York, USA? The inscription market is really a big hit recently. Many inscriptions can earn several times or dozens of times the profit as long as they are minted. Moreover, the inscriptions that have been completed have also risen sharply in the secondary market. Take the Bunny Bovo sats we participated in. Little Rabbit inscription was completed by mint in just one day, and now it has increased by seven times. 
After Binance announced the launch of SAT's trading contract, SAT was in doubled in one day. Come and take a look. Recently, Binance announced on December 12, 2023, BRC20 token SATs will be launched at 8 p.m. and trading of spot trading pairs will be opened. SATs deposits are now accepted. Withdrawal will be open on the next day. SATs is the abbreviation of Satoshi and is the smallest unit of Bitcoin. One Satoshi is equal to 100 millionth of a BTC. In addition, within 48 hours from 晚上八点 on December 十二，二零二三 ，Binance will add SATs as a new loanable asset on isolated margin. Binance Futures Trading Platform launches SATs perpetual contract at 二十二点 Beijing time on December 十二，二零二三 ，leverage up to 五十 times. Affected by this news, SATs quickly surged. With a maximum increase of over 170 percent, the current price of 1,000 SATs is as 49 cents. But everyone understands something: not all inscriptions can be held for a long time and have long-term value. The inscription of Bitcoin is to solve the problem that coins cannot be issued on Bitcoin, unable to deploy smart contracts, and a series of pain points. For some public chains that have solved the problem of issuing virtual machines for currency, does its inscription market have any common sense value other than to gain popularity? Everyone has to think about this clearly. Therefore, not all inscriptions can be held for a long time. Some inscriptions are merely speculative. The so-called Kimji Premium. This thing only happens in Korea. Seeing that Bitcoin is now back in the range of four, crypto currency trading in South Korea is very active during the uptrend. In November, the Korean won surpassed the yen as dollar for the first time to become the largest fiat currency trading pair among crypto currencies. This is the most direct proof. Everyone still remembers that after Terra exploded in May 2022, a South Korea's crypto community taken a very significant hit. Even so, not subject to any centralization restrictions. Daffy is also because it is not subject to any restrictions. Can you comment financial activities with that many crypto currency companies still believe that as you as regulations become more stringent, South Korea's status in the crypto currency field is expected to be further improved. Of course. South Korea's supervision of the crypto currency market will also undergo great changes, according to the recent announcement issued by the Korean Financial Supervisory Commission, new virtual asset user protection law, and the virtual asset industry supervision regulations. The introduction of these regulations will officially take effect in July 2020. For this marks that the Korean government's comprehensive supervision of the virtual asset market is about to take shape. At the same time. The specs excludes MTN and BDS from the supervision of the Virtual Asset User Protection Act. The specs has previously developed separate regulations for BDS South Korean PEMs. Also, anyone reviewing it, for practitioners in the Web3 world, if you want to take back your rights from big institutions and centralized institutions, it's a long and arduous road. South Korea excludes MTS from regulation. BDS is subject to separate regulations. People's ups and downs. A low encrypted advertising. Is this a safe bet on the bull market? Let us take a look at South Korea. South Korea itself is well known for its very strong blockchain and crypto currency community, the so-called Kimji Premium. This thing only happens in Korea. Seeing that Bitcoin is now back in the range of four, crypto currency trading in South Korea is very active during the uptrend. In November, the Korean won surpassed the yen as dollar for the first time to become the largest fiat currency trading pair among crypto currencies. This is the most direct proof. Everyone still remembers that after Terra exploded in May 2022, a South Korea's crypto community taken a very significant hit. Even so, Japanese stablecoin technology provider GU Group completes 420 million yen in financing of approximately US yuan 2.9 million. Japanese investment institution B Dash Ventures participated in the investment. GU Group also raised part of the money. By selling tokens to a number of overseas investors, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority issued a statement calling on the public to be vigilant. Bitcoin Bank is not authorized to conduct banking business in Hong Kong, according to the Hong Kong Banking Ordinance. Bitginko is not authorized by the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, nor is it allowed to set up a local representative office. Yuga Labs tweeted. The 13th moon puzzle in the 12-fold password puzzle series has been released. The sum puzzle is the last 12-fold password puzzle that has been solved. Submission ended. Recently, the IRS Criminal Investigation Division names the cryptocurrency-related cases 
among top 10 most prominent and high-profile investigations of 2023. These cases include the case against Silk Road Marketplace OneCoin. Bruno Block, founder of Oyster Protocol, an investigation of money laundering schemes using Bitcoin kiosks. According to official announcement, Binance Flash Swap trading platform has launched 1,000 sats new asset. Users can now exchange 1,000 sats into BTC USDT or other tokens supported by the Flash Exchange trading platform. Redemption fee free. Bitjinko is not authorized by the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, nor is it allowed to set up a local representative office. Eagle Labs tweeted, The 13th moon puzzle in the Trough of Work Password Puzzle series has been released. The sound puzzle is the last Trough of Work Password puzzle that has been solved. Submission ended. Recently, the Earth Criminal Investigation Division names for Kripakinashi related cases among top 10 most prominent and high profile investigations of 2023. These cases include the case against Silk Road Market Place in Yuka. Bruni Block, founder of Oyster Protocol an investigation of money laundering schemes using Bitcoin kiosks. According to official announcement, Binance Flash Swap Chain Platform has launched 1,000 new asset. Users can now exchange 1,000 into TVC or other tokens supported by the Flash Exchange trading platform. Redemption fee free. I participated in the Twitter armor a few days ago. Everyone is discussing what is the most valuable quality of a trader. In fact, the root of this question is to ask everyone to participate in the construction of the circle. What is the purpose of participating in the construction of Wathbury? I believe most people still do it for profit. Therefore, trading is indeed an unavoidable topic in this circle. So it can be said that you can be a novice but you must not be a leap. You can be cut once but not every time. So you must summarize your experience, eventually form your own trading system and strategy. You can face all the masters alone. Because many times your trading strategy or your trading proposition, not recognized in front of most peers or experts, this is not important. What's important is that you can do the reverse. Be able to stick to your own trading strategies and opinions in a world of grass and grass. This is very rare. In other words, being alone and being unique is a very precious quality for a trader. The above is the entire content of today's program. If you think the channel is valuable, W.